Hi and welcome back. We managed to enter Malawi, but very fast find problems with police. We decide to take alternative roads to avoid being fined, making some very rookie mistakes on the way. After five days waiting for the approval of our visa application for Malawi, we decided to go to the border. We have heard from other travelers that it could even take three weeks to get an answer. Others didn't even get one. So we decided not to wait. The Malawi e-visa process is the worst we have seen so far, and the border crossing one of the most time-consuming from all of the borders. It took us really a long time, but to simplify it for you, there was visa approval from headquarters, visa printing problems, including a printer that was malfunctioning, no toner at Tanzania post office, no internet to send documents to the Malawi post office, customs needing both dollars and quacha, and so on. So as I said, very time consuming. The kids from the village follow us to the beach. This is often so when we wild camp in a populated area. Kite needed some peace, so I was the one giving the attention they seeked. And it worked. 
we spent some time drawing on the sand and making some constructions with the materials we found at the shore. Just before sundown, they decided it was time to head back home. And this is where the fun started. We went from this night's camp spot back to the border, which is just like 10 kilometers, um, to buy a third party insurance because we need it here. And of course what happens as soon as we turn to the main road, the police stops us and asks us for driving license and insurance. Um, due to the fact that we don't have one, and yesterday uh, in the evening it was not possible to get one, uh, like from the official place, um, yeah, we didn't have anything. So we presented them a lot of papers and uh, played cool. And by being cool, we mean we applied the best advice we got for anything police related in Africa. Show them you have time. After the policeman was already trying to scare us, telling us the fine for not having insurance is $1,000, which by the way, it is not true. Kai show him or German insurance papers, all in German, but with all the data from the car, and assure him this is an international insurance, covering Malawi as well. The officer could not believe that any insurance from abroad would cover any third party in case of accident, not even if you have a Comesa insurance. So Kai spent a good time explaining how international insurance work. But soon enough, discussing with us was not worth it anymore. And so, and they went from, yeah, you need to pay $1,000 to yeah, just go to the border and talk to the police. So uh, that's what we're doing right now. And after that, we need to see how we pass through that post again. Oh, that was funny as well. They didn't ask where we're going. So they supposed we were leaving Malawi towards Tanzania. Papieren vom Auto. Wäre viel verhören. You need insurance. I I'm looking I for was something. Talking, actually, I think I was talking to you. What's your name? Besta. Okay, yeah, perfect. Yeah, we're yeah. looking for yes. you. Yes. Okay, yeah, yeah. Perfect, because we were looking for you. Oh, yeah. But oh. parking, I think, the best place to park that site. Okay. Yeah. Repark. Because here the trucks. Yeah, that we got covered by Prime Insurance. We added their office to iOverlander. So there's no more need to go to Karonga to get insurance, risking being fined by police on the way. We got insurance. It was 22 euros for one month, but now the police cannot say anything. They have a bullshit rule here that you need reflectors at the car, so we are building something that looks like reflectors because we don't want to have more discussions with the police. What are we using, by the way? Double-sided tape. Yay! So we are going to go another route where we don't pass through the same police post again. 
in the map there is no bridge over river, but I think they built one. So this is the part that, um, yeah, we might need to take one of those small roads to the village to be able to cross the river. It would be a huge detour, but we really didn't have a story for the police. So we were ready to add some kilometers and try a path nobody seemed to take. Yeah, we went into the river, Kai was saying, it's okay, it's okay. Um, there was water on top of the bonnet. Only for a second. <laughs> More and more the path looked like it was not that much in use. It's the S100. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> it's the S100, but it's only yeah, for motorbikes. Turn around. I will continue a bit more. I will actually ask him, how is it later? Kapoka. Never saw a car before. Watch your key to your right, I don't know if it's something solid. Yeah, go left. Hello. Hello. Yeah, how are you? Good. Is it oh, yeah. is Kapoka. it possible to drive Where? to Kapoka? Kapoka, Kapoka. is yeah. possible? Kapoka? Yeah. yeah. There's no road here. No? no? No road. They told us that's the yeah. road to Kapoka. You must reverse into Sumsongwe. Then after that to Kalonga. After okay. Kalonga then? No, no, but not Karong, not from Karonga. Where are to Kapoka? From some from Songwe? Uh -huh. So from the border uh -huh. to Kapoka. So with yeah, this, this way, yeah. with, this, with car. this car, there's no way. Okay. No? There are no way with the car. So we need to turn around before the rain comes, and otherwise yeah. we cannot. We must reverse into Skalonga. Then after Kalonga, you will take a load of steeper. Okay. After yeah. steeper, then. Okay. Yeah, there's no way here. Thank you. Because yeah. navigation shows road. Yeah, we see we see a road. But here. We see a road. Yeah. Yes. It's S100. Some years ago. Not now. Not now. Okay. Not now. Some years ah. ago. Most, most uh, 10 to 15 years ago. There's ah. no way here. Yeah. But with motorbike, yes. They're very, very portico here. You okay. can't go. Hmm. Okay. But motorbike, yes. Bicycle. Bicycle, yeah. motorbike, yes. Yeah, motor bicycle. Okay. to close the flop. Everything is full of water. <laughs> yep. 
full of water right now. Money? Oh, my money. Let's go. Okay. Right now? Yeah, the wiper is not on, but it's doing Uh-oh. The wiper is working and it's not on. So the electronics are full of water. We stop. Kai is going to look. I think I'm going to cook. But yeah, everything is just soaked. This is our lunch. And what's the situation? The fan of the heater doesn't work right now, but um, all the fuses are okay, so I don't know what it is. We will check it tomorrow, so. With the alternative path not being possible, we were forced to drive the main road to Karonga and most probably face the police again. Uh, we just try it. We can go into the village and then step by step assess it. I just go in backwards and go to Tanzania. We made it! No police! No police! And the military or roadblock that was here, they check actually the insurance. They didn't mention anything, they just saw like from the side of the eye like the insurance. So he knew he cannot tell us anything. The reflectors. He checked that as well? going to a very famous camp spot between Auberlanders so it is very famous here in Malawi because it's at the top of the hill with great views um, over Malawi lake so but yeah the road is terrible to get there I mean it's stunning because the whole area is protected it's a forest um, and but the road is just like a mountain road it looks like fun. We just arrived in Mushroom Farm. Great location, you can see the Malawi Lake. The problem now is that because we drove into the river, the off road lights are not going off. They even do some discotheque. Not fun because they are going to drain our batteries. I think the relay is fried. It's pretty warm. But it's made in Germany, so it should <coughs> be good. It looks like it works. We are busy since very early in the morning, 
guys editing and I've been busy cleaning all her clothes and now cooking some food. We're going to leave the car here and go to the waterfalls nearby. Once again, welcome to Malawi!